Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. I rejoice with those that said to me, let us go to the house of God and worship. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Lebanon Presbyterian Church. Today is Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. Thank you for tuning in to this video teaching as together we all continue to take the proper precautions to avoid public gatherings in hopes of preventing the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. I pray that wherever you are, Whatever time or day you're watching this video, that first and foremost, you are healthy. And secondly, that you are hopeful that we will soon again gather in this sanctuary to worship God together. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Father God, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable and pleasing in your sight. We pray this in the name of Jesus. He is our rock and our redeemer. Amen. This morning, I want to talk to you about the church. Now, normally when we use the word church, we're referring to a place or a building. We normally would wake up on Sunday mornings and go to church. Or oftentimes we would ask people, where do you go to church? Now, personally, I try to avoid using language that refers to the church as a building or a place. If I wake up on Sunday morning, instead of saying I'm going to church, I like to say I went to a service of worship or I'm going to worship. Uh, throughout the week, if I have to run over here to the church because this is where I work, I say to my family, I gotta run over to my office. Now I try to avoid using language uh, that refers to church as a building because, well, we all know, of course, the church is not defined as a building. These four walls and the roof over my head uh, does not define the church. The church, of course, is the people of God. The church is the body of Christ. Jesus is recorded of saying to his disciples in the Gospel of Matthew that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there you will find my church. One way to understand this is that you, on your side of this screen, and me, on this side of the screen, and Jesus, who is in both places, creates for us the church. We are the church. Now, I got to admit, this is kind of an awkward way of being the church together. You on your side of the screen and me on this side of the screen in a room full of empty pews. But that doesn't change the fact that we together are the church. You where you are, me here, and in the name of Jesus, we are the church. And so the question remains, how then do we continue to be the church without being able to gather here in our building? Well, the answer to that question, I think, is quite simple. All you have to do is ask yourself, what do we do when we gather here as the church? Well, I want to list just a few things for you. We enjoy the fellowship of God's people. 
We lift up prayers of the people. We sing songs of praise. We present offerings. We serve others and we study scripture. Now let's think about these things just real briefly. We gather and enjoy the fellowship of God's people. Now we can't do that here in the sanctuary on Sunday morning, but there are many other ways in which we can enjoy the fellowship of our friends. Phone calls, text messages, social media. Uh, I was on social media the other day and I saw a meme that said, um, God was just so upset and frustrated with us down here on earth, all the bickering and debating and busyness uh, that he just grounded us. He just sent us all to the rooms. And so that's where we are now. We're all grounded um, and forced to communicate and be in fellowship with each other in many ways. And so continue utilizing all the platforms available, making phone calls and uh, scrolling through the different social media feeds. Um, seek out the fellowship of God's people and you continue to be the church without a building. Secondly, we lift up prayers of the people. Every Sunday morning, we take time and we, we look at our prayer list and we look at those who have asked prayers for prayers. We take time to just quietly pray. There's nothing stopping you or me from doing that every day. And so um, be a person in prayer and you continue to be the church without a building. Next, we sing songs of praise. As much as I uh, am grateful that Mike Peterson recorded that song for us today, and I hope maybe that you were singing along as you started watching the video, uh, we don't need Mike here or Bailey or Marge or Jane to play the instruments to lead us in songs. Uh, yesterday, every time somebody walked through my kitchen, uh, we had uh, Amazon Music playing through our Alexa all day long in the kitchen. And every time Graydon or Autumn or Gretchen would come through the kitchen, they would hear this, this praise song, this Christian worship music. And then they would start singing along, singing praises to God in our very home. You can do that without the building. Next, uh, we present offerings to God. It's an act of worship. It's a way in which we um, support the work of the gospel, not only here uh, within these four walls, but beyond. And I want you to know that I know it's an inconvenience to you. Um, it's so easy to come in and um, drop a, a gift into the offering plate, uh, but that's just not the reality that we're living in right now. Um, there's multiple ways in which you could continue to support the life of the church and present your offerings. Uh, continue giving to the church through mailing in your envelopes. You can set up an account on our website for online giving, or maybe you can even talk to the bank um, and set up automatic scheduled payments or gifts um, to the life of the church, knowing that we are always grateful for the generosity and the good stewardship um, of our people. We serve each other. That's what we do when we gather here. Now, as soon as you walk into the door here at the church, you're greeted. That's somebody volunteering and serving their time um, to other people. We have folks who work in the nursery. We have ushers. We have uh, children's ministry workers, we have musicians, we have people in the sound booth, we have people working the PowerPoint. When you walk into the sanctuary, you may not notice it, but there are all kinds of people serving one another, showing hospitality and being of service to each other. And so you can continue to serve others without being here in the building. Uh, you could make a meal and deliver it to somebody. You um, could uh, offer to help in whatever way it is necessary at work or at home. Um, there are all kinds of ways to serve. So you can serve and be the church without being in the building. And then lastly, of course, we study scripture. And that's what we're doing now. We're reflecting upon what it means to be a church. I want you to consider the words of the Apostle Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians. He said, we are the living church. God dwells among us. And we look forward to a time, hoping that it's not the time now, uh, in the book of Revelation, where a new city, a very new Jerusalem, will come down from heaven and God will dwell among us, his church. And so studying scripture allows us to open our minds and to understand the nature of God and to inspire us to be the people of God. And so, yes, the church has left the building. That doesn't mean we can't continue to be the church. 
You know, I often tell people that there are two things that I really enjoy. I enjoy standing in a stream with my fly rod and I enjoy a good Sunday morning crowd. You see, I'm a balanced introvert and extrovert. And as an introvert, being quarantined in my own home and within my own family, um, I'm really enjoying this time, honestly, I am. Uh, but at the same time, gosh, I miss our Sunday morning crowd. I miss gathering here in this sanctuary as a church with all of you worshiping God and doing all the things that we do together as church. And um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that someday here soon in the next week or coming weeks that we'll be able to gather again and what a joyful time that will be. But today our challenge is to be a church without this place, to be a church without the building. And so I wanna encourage you to continue to find ways and seek the fellowship of God's people, to sing God's praises wherever you are, and to lift up your prayers for other people to be a service to others and to continue to present your offerings to the work of the church and the gospel around the world. And of course, continue to study scripture. We can do all of these things without being here in the church. Friends, the church has left the building, but may we never cease to be the church. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.